Hey everybody, Spoonfed here. Um, we're continuing our series on information gathering uh, during the pen penetration testing phase, pen testing. And we're going to use um, DNS BF. So um, we need a subdomain app or uh, subnet. So what we're going to do is we're going to ping that one. and apparently they have set up so that one um apparently they've set up so they cannot you cannot send i and icmp packets but that's okay paste that one we'll make the last one a zero and we'll make that uh 24. and let's let this baby run so basically what we're going to do is we're going to look on the whole subnet of of this particular server because usually servers this is a b c and d uh, of the ip address like classes they are called and if you have a class that means it's a whole different location probably b class that's probably the same location but a different server uh, to get, like different server just a physical machine a different C usually indicates um, like this, it's the same rack like it's not a fi different physical one but it's the same rack but it's just a different like a hard drive maybe or different network card on the same storage and D uh, you can see that as um, well basically a virtual private server uh, and just have the compartment of the like let's say it's a 200 uh, gigs disk everybody has one gig for example and you got 200 IP addresses on there let's just put it like that it's easier for the for imagination it's not like 100% correct what I'm saying I know but just for um, trying to figure out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look on the same machine but then the last from 0 to 255 and so let's let this piece roll so now we can see what is on there and that's quite a lot of information uh, I mean we see kinetic whatever that is we see MI5 we see MI6 so then we have uh, 32 names found and as you can see there uh, oh, he also went for the 184. That was not necessary, but all right. So we have MI5 here. We have security service. We have search at MI5. Uh, we have MI6. Search at one. Maybe for low balancing. Uh, DC MI5.net. Faxweb.org. Now, and something you can realize for example is that um, maybe these two are vulnerable to I don't know f uh, file upload so that means you can upload a shell if you get a shell on that particular machine and they also forgot conveniently to um, make it so you have root access immediately on the whole system that means that you can also access all of these nice cool sites oh we even have a test in here a test.site.datacenter no oh, that's for example if you were doing a penetration test that's pretty um, exciting info because a test is usually not very well secured so maybe we maybe you can use that uh, we even have a name server on here, so maybe that's one is vulnerable to um, like DNS poisoning or whatever. And mole.kinetic, I have no idea what it is, but um, this info is presented in a well bit of a weird way, as it were. So what you can do is you can do two arrows, meaning it will uh, append the information to an already existing file. Because if you do this it will 
put all the information in a file but um, as it will give new lines every time you only get the last line which will probably be 511 IP tested 32 names found so make it 2 and we'll make this DNSBF uh, dot uh, well what we're gonna call it mi .co.uk text so now probably won't see any output oh no sorry that needs to be dot now we just need to wait till it's done which took about 18 seconds which is not that bad and you can do this with any, uh, every site so what you first gonna do is you're gonna ping the site so you know its IP address of the server it's located on and then you're gonna use that IP address to run this tool to get a whole bunch of extra names um, this one will give you quite a lot of information actually now as it should be and now we have the exact same information but then stored in a text file so we don't need to run this tool every time or need to copy this like so and things can go wrong or whatever so um, that's it for DNSBF uh, which probably stands for brute force but um, it's not really a brute force of DNS because you're just gonna hit the IP address and see what is behind that IP address if there's anything behind that IP address so uh, by the way another site just got into view that one stats.mi5.gov.uk could be also one to check out well anyway uh, that's it for this tool and see you next time